So the last thing I'm going to explain on this uh, property is a transformer and how to size that properly. Um, I'm obviously I'm not mounting this one right here, but anytime you're going to mount this, you want to just mount it close to um, a GFCI receptacle somewhere that you can plug it in, and all that does is it converts that 110 volt power that comes out of the house down to 12 or 15 volt that is going to go to your system, uh, and that's what makes it low voltage, and that's what makes it safe to handle and I always get asked well how deep do I need to bury the wires do they need to be uh, to code do they need to be 12 inches 24 inches um, and because it's low voltage really they only got to be deep enough that you're not going to be digging them up um, if a dog bit into him and chewed on your wire he's barely even going to feel anything so um, there is really no regulations any in our area anyway as to how deep you have to bury those because that wire does get converted into very safe 12 volt uh, as it is in the ground so how we select our transformer is based on, on wattage. So for example, this is a 150 watt transformer uh, from FX Luminaire. And the way we've determined this one is pretty simple. We have approximately 30 lights on this property and each of those lights averages just over four watts. So 30 times four is 120. So we're only using 120 watts or only require 120 watts for this project. Um, but you always want to size your transformer approximately 20% higher uh, just to uh, just to cure any inefficiencies or anything like that and give a little bit of extra room also if you ever want to add on down the road. So a 150 watt transformer will easily handle our, uh, our load of lights. And the other reason I like this one too is this actually has a 15 volt tap here. So if you watch a lot of old videos on YouTube about landscape lighting, they talk a lot about voltage drop. Uh, that's because most of those landscapers uh, and, and those designers are using halogen fixtures. If you're getting a quote for a system and somebody is still quoting you on a halogen fixture, I would run for the hills because they're really just trying to sell you a cheaper system. It doesn't make any sense nowadays uh, with LED. And the reason that we can run 30 lights on one transformer is because LED uses so much less power. You might save money on the fixtures by going the halogen route, but then you're going to have to get a massive transformer to run that. And you've got to be really careful on how you run the wire and voltage drop and all those types of things. What I'm telling you is that if you choose a transformer like this that has a 15 volt tap, you can run 20 to 30 lights off of this transformer upwards of 300 plus feet of wire out without ever having to worry about enough voltage drop because a good quality fixture is going to run even if it only gets nine volts on it a crappy quality fixture is not going to but if you get a good one they're all designed to run between nine and ten volts which means you can lose a lot of power along the way and that light is still going to run properly so another reason why you don't want to skimp on a fixture because it is going to cause you more problems down the road uh, and then to run this there's a couple ways you can do that the way I like is just by adding something called an astronomic timer that basically uses uh, uh, sunrise and sunset to program everything and turn your lights on and off or the other option is to make this go Wi-Fi by using our Weon Wi-Fi transformer uh, which you can easily uh, make this a Wi-Fi transformer now that you can operate from anywhere in the world Okay, so a lot of times I get asked, can I run, say I have half my lights on this side of the driveway and half on this side of the driveway, can I run two wires or two runs off of my transformer? And yes, for sure. If you're looking at a system that's got 20 lights or more, you're probably using a bigger transformer that's 150 watt, 200, 300 watt. And they usually have terminals and taps on them that are big enough to run more than one wire out of it. So for example, like this, say I've got Let's just say this is times 10 and we've got 20 lights on this side of the driveway and then we've got these 20 lights on this side of the driveway. All I would do is I would basically just have two separate wires that run out to each one of those directions and I would put them all in the same, uh, in the same tab. So I don't need to have two separate transformers to run each side of that driveway. I can just have two lines that run out of that transformer. Now I'll say you're working on a system that you have you know, 25, 30, 40 lights and they're bigger lights um, and you have a lot more water. So you have 
say you have uh, 40 lights and they're each using 5 watts each, that's 200 watts. Well, all of a sudden, a 120 watt and 150 watt transformer is not going to be big enough. So you're going to have to upgrade it to something like this, which is like a 300 watt transformer. Now, you'll see a lot of these with older systems that are 600, 900, 1200 watt transformers, which are huge. But that was mainly for halogen systems. With an LED system, you rarely are going to need to get over 300 watts. Um, but with something like this, now you can fit more lights on it. And the other thing you'll usually find with these is they'll have more than one tap on it. So they'll have a 12 volt and a 15 volt tap, sometimes a 13, sometimes a 14 volt tap and have multiple ones. And all that's for is so now instead of having to fit all three of your wires into one tap, you can go and separate them. So you can have one line that's maybe a little bit closer coming off that 12 volt tap. Then you can have another line of lights coming off your 15 volt tap that maybe goes a little bit further. Uh, and again, because you're starting at 15 volts, you can afford to lose more voltage down that line, have more voltage drop and still have those lights work properly. It's not like a halogen system where you have to, you really have to do the math and figure out how far you're running those lights and how many bulbs are on each line. Uh, with LED, it just makes it very simple because each one of those lights is using a very small wattage uh, to operate that light. So this is just an example of a bigger transformer now. Again, all the different manufacturers have their version, but they're basically the same. You're gonna find multiple taps uh, and they're just a little bit bigger. So if you're looking at 30, 40 lights, this is probably the transformer that you wanna to upgrade to. Okay, and then the last option is if you really get into uh, the bigger, more expensive transformers. Um, this is still only a 300 watt transformer, but now it's a digital transformer. Um, there's uh, a couple different models of digital transformers out there, um, and they're just, they're a little bit different. They're basically the same principles. You just usually have more uh, timer options and, and more features built in. Um, and then it also, a lot of these, and this one is from FX Luminaire, this is their ZDC controller, because I always get asked about color changing lights. Well, this is a great way to go and do that. Um, bear in mind that anytime you're looking at a color changing system, you're looking at spending two, three, four times the cost of what you would on a regular system. Um, this is the same system I have at my house. It works great. There are some other options for color changing and whatnot with, um, with Bluetooth technology and drop-in bulbs that are a little bit more affordable. They still have their kinks to work out, um, but the technology keeps getting better and the price keeps coming down. So there will be more options available down the road, but um, I really like this transformer. If you're looking at doing any of that and zoning and dimming and color, um, go check out uh, FX Luminaire CDC transformer, uh, as well as some of their digital transformers. Uh, if you're looking at other color changing options, you can, you can do a Google search or go check on our website for some of the Bluetooth color changing options. Um, but just know there's a lot more involved and entailed with a transformer like this um, and the cost gets a little bit more but you'll see a lot of these out there. Uh, I won't go too much into this transformer because that's for another video. As I said, there is a lot more uh, to programming a digital transformer.